All right, hi there. Hello. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> mm -hmm. And weekend? My weekend? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I told you uh, Saturday I there was a mm -hmm. gathering. Okay. For authors together. And then right. it was a great time. Then mm -hmm. the author... Mm -hmm. When I um in in reality, I mean uh in person. When I okay. saw her in person, she's really beautiful, mm. and I could see um whole um what's that? Oh, uh, aura, aura, aura. Her aura. What about her aura? Aura. Uh oh. Mm. Like uh, there's something shiny background her. I mean, yes, that's mm -hmm. her aura. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I was lucky that um, when she she prepared some gift for us. Okay. But there are almost 70, 70 participants. Wow. Me, then I my number was six. Then okay. I was a chosen, like mm -hmm. uh, at a lucky draw, oh. and then I got a, I received a mm -hmm. special gift from her. Okay, that's uh, cosmetic from Italy, mm. skin toner. Okay, that's the um her one of her favorite. She said, ah, uh, like ah, it was like draw lots, and then you got lucky. Yeah, yeah. Ah, there okay. were mm -hmm. 70 participants and then mm -hmm. uh, my number was six and then mm -hmm. I was chosen. When she said oh. that number six, then I was like, oh my God. And then, <laughs> mm -hmm. That's me. And then I received that <laughs> special present. Oh, <laughs> okay. I, I thought and you gave I like everyone. Auto autograph. No, I was no, chosen. Ah. I was oh, at nice, a lucky nice. draw. Okay, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. But but all so of you had the autograph? 70, so I am... Well, autograph is for mm. all, almost everyone because ah. we are all big fan of her. And mm -hmm. then uh, I uh, brought my brought her book, one of her book, and mm -hmm. then I was able to get a mm -hmm. autograph. Mm -hmm. Then oh. she wrote my name and then mm -hmm. her... Signature uh -huh. sign mm -hmm. on the dog. Mm -hmm. So, and then the other all members are also. I'm not. I don't know their real name, but, but we are familiar with their nickname because mm -hmm. we used our nickname on mm -hmm. the online cafe. Mm -hmm. And then all of us wants to be uh, want to be um mm -hmm. author later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have a. Um, Really big. Um, I mean, we have a lot in common, or not a lot, mm -hmm. but we have a same mm -hmm. interest. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, when you met her, like, did you have the chance to like have a talk with her? Uh, actually, not like on mm -hmm. and on. Um, mm -hmm. not, not 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 no chance to talk alone with yeah. her. Mm -hmm. But when really short time when she was mm -hmm. um she gave me an autograph okay. and she the first when she saw me that she said oh you are pretty then I was like mm -hmm. oh but she was she, she's beautiful but the mm -hmm. first thing she said she mentioned that oh you are pretty then mm -hmm. I said oh thank you then I was like really um shy. Mm -hmm. And then she asked me my name, and then she mm -hmm. uh, gave me autograph. Oh. And then she smiled. <laughs> uh, and then the next person. Yes. Okay. Uh. So it took just some um, two minutes. All right. But you, you guys uh, had the chance to listen to her, like all of you. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. After mm -hmm. autograph, and then we mm -hmm. had a there was a chance that she um gave us a little uh speech, okay. lecture, not lecture, 
like speech kind of all right and what did you talk about mm, like we are all of us uh, complete our mm -hmm. project like a 100 right. days writing then yeah. she said you guys really need to uh continue mm -hmm. to write right mm -hmm. every mm -hmm. day then mm -hmm. you will be able to uh be you will be your writing skill will be mm -hmm. um develop and mm -hmm. then also you will be um you will uh, be able to meet your life goal as a writer mm -hmm. if you mm -hmm. don't start writing mm -hmm. and then please just be brave that if you think you are mm -hmm. not enough to be a writer mm -hmm. but still you are enough so mm -hmm. when you have a when you have a um your own writing and then mm -hmm. it's time to mm -hmm. get it published Mm -hmm. So there's no such a time that you are perfect or perfect timing, mm -hmm. but uh, you should just try and you should send your writing to the publisher. Mm -hmm. Oh, so well, that's well, really it, encouraging. Right. And um, like it always takes uh, some sort of courage to try it out. Like, mm -hmm. I think like most writers started not knowing whether their first book is going to be published or not. Mm -hmm. I, I even heard that um, there are very successful authors who were rejected like many, many times. Many times, right. right. Like mm -hmm. uh, um, Rowling. J.K. Rowling, right. J.K. Rowling, yes. The Harry mm -hmm. Potter writers. Yes. Yeah, yes, she was yes. rejected so many mm -hmm. times. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yes, yeah, that's correct. Okay, I, I I tried submitting my application um before when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. Uh, but but it wasn't for a it wasn't for a book. It was for a poem. Mm -hmm. And they accepted it. <laughs> oh congratulations yes. Yes. a long it time ago like, <laughs> yeah a long long time ago um it was like a um, magazine and it was published mm. by an organization an organization oh. of high schoolers um in the uh, country so they mm -hmm. co uh, collect um essays uh poems uh, short stories mm -hmm. from uh, other students and then they mm -hmm. uh choose uh, i get lucky uh -huh. Mm. Mm. Yes. Not Ma just you're lucky, mm. but maybe you are talented mm. or you're uh, writing <laughs> impressive, maybe. Um, maybe, but it took me a lot <laughs> of time to finish that one. It was a 50 stanza poem. 50. 50 stanza poem. 50 stanza? What does that mean? Uh, stanza is like the paragraph of a poem. Mm. Yes, and I had to count the syllables because I'm traditional in making um poems. So each line had to have the same number of syllables. Uh huh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and that has hard. to be like, that. That has to be like from the start until the beginning. Oh. Mm. Hard job. <laughs> <laughs> um, like poets. They have their own mm -hmm. style. Some are like freestyle. They don't um care about the number of syllables. Mm -hmm. Others, they don't like poems to be very long. They like like mm -hmm. maybe like just one stanza or just three stanzas like that. Right, it's up to yes. them. <laughs> yes, but in my case, like I'm um uh, I talk a lot and I'm a storyteller, <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> a few stanzas would not be enough. They're like oh no, like maybe fifty. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> and uh, I get lucky. Do you have uh, still that yeah. one? Is mm -hmm. it written in English? Uh, yes, it is written in English. But once you submit it to them, it becomes theirs. Oh. If they, if they approve it, like it becomes uh, that magazine's um, property. Uh, so is it being used mm -hmm. like a commercial? commercial oh, not purpose? exactly. Um, they use it for studies. Mm -hmm. yes. okay. okay for um literature mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like that 
Okay. I, I don't know if they're studying my poem, but <laughs> 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 the, the last time I heard about it, like, okay, yours was included in the uh, magazine and that's it. <laughs> I just saw yeah. it and then that's it. <laughs> no more. <laughs> 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 okay but but too like you were able to complete that 100 day challenge so mm -hmm. it, it means that you've written like um if we if you put all of them together that's basically um a full essay uh, kind of but mm -hmm. the 100 uh writing has all different um issue and different idea ah. different theme so okay. it shouldn't be like all or mm -hmm. like one book mm -hmm. but i could choose some mm -hmm. because oh. they are uh, when the i upload my writing and each mm -hmm. author or uh, pre-author i mean or, or one of us when we um mm -hmm. upload our writing then the mm -hmm. when the others read and then they if mm -hmm. they like it and then they mm -hmm. put likes they just oh. um, you know then i um thankfully i have a lot of likes mm, nice. on my writing but not mm. 100 all writing mm -hmm. but only, mm -hmm. only few so mm. i'm thinking that maybe i could use those just just mm -hmm. um maybe uh five or six writing mm -hmm. out of mm -hmm. 100 but only five mm -hmm. five or six less than 10 but they mm -hmm. were really popular at that mm -hmm. moment. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking that uh, what should I do with that um, writing? Ah, all right, right. In my case, like when I write, I usually write and it usually becomes unpopular. Oh. <laughs> uh, maybe because of my intention, like most of the time I want, if I write, like I don't want it to be like um like other elves. <laughs> it you has don't... to be. Uh, I I don't want it to be uh similar with um other uh, people's other people's work. Mm -hmm. I want it to be um so different. So mm -hmm. many times, like they won't even notice it. Because mm -hmm. what does that mean? <laughs> uh, because, for example, like uh, let's say short stories. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say people would write about a topic, um, maybe a theme. Mine would be so different that people <laughs> many Can't times really people... <laughs> they don't get a uh, idea easily, or they don't really uh, empathy. They don't have empathy, or um. And not, not exactly like that, but it's something that maybe they are not very familiar with. Uh huh. Because people like tend people tend to um, uh, what's this one? To accept something that they have an idea about, that mm -hmm. they right, know right. about, that they can relate to. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, they can, um... yes, yes. Correct. They unfortunately, can, um... right. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I am a writer who doesn't care about the reader. Like <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> this is what I want to write. This is what I want to talk about. <laughs> okay. But but um, you like you um getting one <laughs> like oh, Mukata. Mukata. Just, <laughs> I think like getting even if there's like only one like, I, I think that's already an achievement. Mm. Yeah, because you belong to a group and not everybody would have like the time to browse over everything. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Mm. So if so one I, give it a like, like good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know so, uh, that time I, it's uh, the project is already finished, but mm. I and those times I don't really I wasn't able to read all other writers um, mm. works mm. but yeah I was lucky then some of my works are mm. uh, popular mm. popular? yes all right, right. Uh, I, I got some likes yes. right right mm. uh, giving it a like like they appreciate the work and the thought that you put into the work 
Mm. Okay. Now let's take a look at what we have today. So we're back to um question one. Mm. Go ahead. Hello, you reached out. Uh, Aurora Bakery. The bakery is open from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day. At Aurora, we offer pastries, cakes, and specialty desserts for all occasions. To find out more about our selection, please call back during our business hours or visit our website. Have a wonderful day. How? Oh. I, I really... Take care, Take care of Mocha. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I really missed um food from bakery. So yesterday, like I, I think sometime in the sometime in the afternoon, mm -hmm. I really decided like, oh, I'm gonna go downtown and buy some bread. <laughs> so mm -hmm. uh, I went and then um came back, and then when I came back, like okay, let's use this one for <laughs> for marketing. <laughs> Huh? Uh, I I I said I uh, I'm gonna use the food for marketing. So marketing? Yes, because we're we're prepping the academy. So <laughs> so uh, I I noticed that they have here like teapots that aren't used. So I brought one out. I <laughs> made tea. Well, not exactly tea. I made it look like tea, but it's undrinkable. And then mm -hmm. I took a photo. <laughs> okay, th this one's good for marketing. Step up as tea. <laughs> oh. All right. How about you? Uh, do you like food from bakeries? Ah, uh, yes, but I don't like um something very sweet. Ah. But most bakery cafe they serve mm -hmm. something really sweet with some ah. fruits, but not real fruit. Yeah. Real fruit, but all covered with icing or covered <sighs> with a sweet. I mean. Sh Sugar, mm, sugar right. shake, no shake, sugar spread, no sugar. I forgot sugar powder. Yes. All right. Ah, oh, the so white one. Real, yeah, really, mm. real. It's really sweet. So I, mm. I, I hate. Only I eat um scone, but okay. the classic scone, not like scone with the lapse mm. berry, was scone with the chocolate chip. No, only scone. Mm -mm. Mm. So and then or croissant, but ah. the only just hundred percent croissant, not like a jam mm. inside or chocolate inside. No, mm -mm -mm -mm. cream inside. No. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So I consider a uh, bread as uh, as my breakfast. Okay. So it shouldn't be sweet, mm -hmm. but people consider all the bakery as a dessert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the marketing their marketing strategy like it's really <laughs> sweet or you right. can't stop eating blah blah but <laughs> for me it doesn't work <laughs> <laughs> oh okay um compared to like um shops here they because they don't have a lot of bakeries here and if they have like many of them have like um factory baked bread uh, compared to like um, the shops in my hometown, like everywhere there's bakery and they're freshly baked. Oh. <laughs> yes, like uh, even croissant is freshly baked in my hometown. Here, um... like it, it, it's in a packet. <laughs> <Like Yeah. what? laughs> the first time I started factory like factory bakery, factory. Right, right. Yes, mm. the first time I started like, why is it in a packet? <laughs> 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 and there was one bakery here which wasn't very popular but the food there was really good it closed because it wasn't very popular it was the only bakery that sold a freshly baked bread but now no oh. more right. and also near main gate i remember mm -hmm. there is a bread time am i oh, not yeah. mistaken yes bread yes that, 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 that was yeah, that was the one I uh, I mentioned, but it's already closed. Oh, that's my one of my favorite. Mm. That was my one All of right. my favorite. Mm. They have a fresh one. Yes, yes. They bake it inside their own shop. Yeah, yeah but now no more. Ah, uh, that's closed. Yeah. Oh. Uh, because of that the pandemic. Cool. 
and, and uh -huh. their and the pan pandesar so. your yeah. uh, traditional one pandesar the warm one they have uh, it they used to have it there. yes uh, they have it here yes yes but mm. um, i really wish mm. i could eat. here <laughs> i can't find any pandesar <laughs> in my hometown like maybe more than 10 bakeries that sell pandesal wow so um mm. pandesal is your main dish like a rice is our main dish um like in this country it's still rice but in my hometown <laughs> Bread is like staple. Uh, it's also staple, like almost the same with rice. Uh huh. Only pandesa, only bread, or bread uh, usually, with some other. Usually. Yes, yes, yes. Um, only bread. Yes, yes. Um, mm -hmm. like people there can eat like just bread and um milk, uh, and some egg. That's it for breakfast. Uh, in the morning. But here, like when people have um, breakfast, and I think in other hot places, they prefer rice over bread. Mm. Mm. So it, it's a little bit different, maybe because of the weather, I don't know. Or maybe because of American mm. influence. Right. And also, right. I um, for my breakfast, I mm -hmm. normally eat just bread, but mm -hmm. bagel and croissant. Okay. Mm. and cream mm -hmm. and or uh, french toast okay so uh bread slice of bread with um egg mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. or bagel with the cream mm, or only no, sometimes good. bacon that's it that's my mm. um, usual breakfast oh i like bagel with cream and then um slices of fruit all together then you mm -hmm. make it into like a sandwich and then you buy it mm -hmm. that way. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> yeah, I really like it. Oh, have you tried pandesal with um cream cheese? Mm, only just pandesal itself. It's so delicious. Yummy. All right. Uh, when you add it with cream cheese, um, a little mm -hmm. bit of pepper and a little bit of um pepper. Uh, yes. Black pepper. You mean chili pepper? I uh, know black pepper. Ah, uh, black uh, pepper. Oh, right, 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 right. A little bit of black ah, pepper okay, okay. and a little bit of garlic. Like, oh mm -hmm. my, oh. it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I, I visit eat, there, mm, then you mm. can just uh, introduce me that that place, or you can make it, or a uh, pandesal with um cream cheese. Yeah, yeah uh, people like people make it. Then... Yeah, people mm. make it. It's easy. You can do it um on uh like by yourself. Mm. 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 Ah, just people do it by themselves, not like yes, a yes. um bakery uh, they serve it that way. Correct. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, okay. Uh, bakeries would just sell the plain pandesal, sometimes with mm. cheese and sometimes with something inside, but uh, most of the time just bread. Mm. Mm. Okay. Now let's try another one. Today on the Fitness Edge program, our focus is on running and jogging. We'll talk about choosing the proper shoes, planning your route, and warming up for your run. Susan Bennett, experienced marathon runner, will share some advice about staying motivated while training. After that, she will demonstrate some excellent stretching exercises. Uh, you still walk um, from work, right? Uh, not every day, on the weekend. Mm. Ah, on the because weekend. Because I, yes, only just uh, during daytime, mm. I, I feel like walking mm. outside. But um, when it's dark or late, <clears throat> sorry, then it, I... Um, I don't really uh, stay outside when it's dark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But mm. um, our daytime is uh, mm -hmm. longer and longer. Right. So I expect maybe next <laughs> month, starting next month after mm -hmm. work, I'm gonna, okay. I will, I could, I can able, I can, I am, I will be able to walk. Mm -hmm. 
after work. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you have any motivation for walking or? I I already have a really strong motivation to walk. Yeah. That's why every weekend on Saturday and Sunday, I walk for almost two hours each day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it, uh, before work, I start my work around 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. I uh, go to my academy around 1. <laughs> and, then, and then that's uh, daytime. So still daytime. So I walk <laughs> like 20 minutes <laughs> before I start my job. <laughs> but after work, it's dark. Then I can't <laughs> really stay outside. <laughs> but um, maybe next month. And till yeah. September, until um, eight, almost eight, mm -hmm. uh, still there's, um, I mean, light still remaining. I mean, it's not really dark until eight. Yeah. So I'm finishing my work seven. So one hour working mm -hmm. is possible. Oh, good, good, good. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, that closes um, today's um, class. I have another class in a, in about a couple of minutes. So <laughs> I oh. got to go. <laughs> right. So that's it. Thank you very much and have a good night. All right. Thank you. Good mm -hmm. night.